Hi, my name is Julia Gonzalez and I welcome you to my channel. If you've never been here before, I love to travel to experience new cultures and amazingly delicious foods. On the last episode, I was on the hunt for the best ceviche in Miami, visiting three ceviche hotspots. This week, we brunch. I'm going to share with you my favorite brunch spot in Miami, and we're going to pop into one of my favorite historic landmarks that you have just got to see. Coral Gables is a city in Miami-Dade County. Located seven miles southwest of downtown Miami, it's here I introduce you to Booyah! Owned by Carlos Centurion, it's inspired by the gastro bars you would find in Spain. Today we brunch, which is held on Saturday and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The brunch is made up of three courses and is $29.50 per person. Additionally, they offer bottomless sangrias and mimosas at $19 per person. Oh my god, that's so much awesome. First up, we have the grilled flatbread. It contains mozzarella, a poached egg, caramelized onions, oyster mushrooms, and bacon. All right. I loved how cheesy it was, and the caramelized onions and the oyster mushrooms just gave it this extra flavor that just, you know, pops in your mouth. Croquetas are just a classic Spanish tapas that I never turned down. Filled with serrano ham and deep fried to perfection, I love how they have added the fig jelly for dipping on the side. melts in your mouth. It's so good. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of waffle, a little bit of syrup. Salty with the chicken being fried. Booyah, you got me with those cocktails. Each one is so well crafted. Next, we have huevos bravos, which is two fried eggs shoestring potatoes, sauteed onions and peppers, and brava sauce. Brava sauce is typically olive oil, smoked paprika, stock, and a little flour as a thickener. Mm. Peppers are amazing. And last but not least, I'll share with you flan de coco. I could eat this dessert all day. It's coconut flan served with passion fruit sorbet. Oh my God, it's heaven on earth. The sorbet gives it this like kick. It's like this like huge kick of flavor. The flan kind of like milds it. so good. Tastes like the beach because of the coconut. Tastes like I belong on the beach. Mm. <laughs> now with my belly full from Buya, it was time to venture out to my next stop. Most know Miami for the pristine beaches, non-stop nightlife, and warm weather. However, I want to show you a slice of historic heaven that also finds home in Miami. Welcome to Vizcaya. <laughs> when
When driving up the tree-shaded drive, the hectic Miami city life falls away and it feels like you're being transported back in time. The Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, previously known as Villa Vizcaya, is the former villa and estate of businessman James Deering of the Deering McCormick International Harvester Fortune, not to be confused with John Deere. It sits on the Biscayne Bay in the present-day Coconut Grove neighborhood of Miami, Florida. Just like, oh, hello. Hello, gorgeous. In 1910, James purchased 180 acres of land for a complex of buildings and gardens. Vizcaya was his passionate endeavor with artist Paul Chalfin. Deering and Chalfin were introduced in 1910 by a renowned decorator named Elsie de Wolf. She introduced Chalfin to Deering for the interiors of his Chicago home. Chalfin and Deering traveled through Europe together many times, in part to collect ideas and to begin to acquire art, antiques, and furnishings for the new Florida estate. The collaboration of their travels is a lasting memorial of their creative relationship from 1914 to 1923. I've been to the estate many times, but I feel like I always see something new. And it's also really hard for me to wrap my head around that this estate was built for one man as a summer home. Vizcaya is distinguished for its Italian Renaissance-inspired Mediterranean revival architecture. In addition to the sprawling Italian Renaissance revival gardens and perfectly executed interior architectural elements with European, Asian, and American furnishings. What you can't see is through those windows is the ocean. Oh, I'd like an ocean view with a fireplace, please. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, I would like that. Unfortunately, Deering died in September 1925 while on board the steamship SS City of Paris en route back to the United States. After his death, Vizcaya was inherited by his two nieces, Marion Deering McCormick and Barbara Deering Danielson. being in Spain and seeing the Royal Alcazar, which is absolutely gorgeous, this really is a close second best. Beautiful. In 1945, they sold significant portions of the Vizcaya property to the Catholic Diocese of St. Augustine, Florida, to build Miami's Mercy Hospital. 50 acres compromising the main house, the formal gardens, and the village were retained.
Lastly, in 1952, Miami-Dade County acquired the villa and formal Italian gardens, which needed significant restoration for $1 million. The Vizcaya Museum and Gardens are open Wednesday through Monday, 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Tickets range from $10 to $25, and children five and under are free. That concludes my brunch day in Miami. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more travel and food videos. And until next time, go explore. There's a whole world you deserve to see. Oh my God, I'm so awesome.